subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Welcome to another episode of Sharing the Scoop, and today I have with me is very interesting guest, Miss Saisha Shetty. So, hi Saisha, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I hope you are all safe. Yeah, all good. How about you? Same, same. Yes, working from home and for home. <laughs> yeah, both. That's true. Uh, so, Saisha, uh, can you please introduce yourself for our viewers? Sure, sir. So, uh, my name is Saisha, and uh, I am currently working for a pharmaceutical company called Roche Pharma India Private Limited. and uh, i have done my mba in pharmaceutical management uh, from sis college nerul and prior to that i had done my uh, masters in biochemistry uh, so that's about me amazing amazing so uh, you said that you have done your masters in biochemistry uh, hey. and then why why mba me what what made you you know think about mba uh yeah so actually uh, after my masters in biochemistry it's quite of a research oriented uh, course that i had done uh, my whole seeking after that was to go for a phd which is quite organic but uh, then again uh, i went for my internship after that i uh, did a small internship and i realized that it's not everybody's cup of tea or i would not want to stretch this for a long period and uh, i think i would want to be the forefront player in terms of if i'm working for the pharma itself i would like to even uh, project it that way so i think uh, that was my thought behind why i wanted to choose uh, doing mba and the whole part is with mba you have so many different roles you can play or you can just uh, shift your uh, focus from one area to another being in a particular organization in a particular uh, sector as well so i think uh, that was my motto but uh, adding to that i think uh, i did not want my masters to go off uh, like a waste or something so uh, provided so i researched about it and i wanted to do something in the pharma division only so pharma mba just cracked okay okay and and how you used to manage your preparation uh when you are preparing for mba entrances uh right so i think uh, this is uh, very uh, personal to everybody i think there are people who would say that you have to do a particular r set and you know uh, you have to solve all kind of books and uh, still manage i think uh, it a lot of criteria matters to this but uh, most of it i would say is uh, of course your personal tips and tricks that you do after practicing i think that helped me a lot uh, i uh, lost touch from cons uh, like 5 years back because of my bachelor's and masters being in biology completely uh, so uh, for me to regain that kind of confidence in cons i had to work a little more harder over there so all the time that i got i invested more in something like cons because i did not want to fall back for it so uh, initially and most of the time i think i worked on it and uh, you kind of understand a pattern and uh, save some tips and tricks for it so uh, luckily i had completed my masters uh, and my internship uh, when i had uh, started preparing for my uh, cet or nmat or all these competitive exams so i had time in my hand but uh, saying that i think uh, none of the time or books are enough and you will keep finding new problems to solve so i think it's uh, quite uh, crucial for you to decide how you want to play the game amazing amazing and and what are the uh, different exams that you had written uh, so i gave my nmat so uh, being the uh, i had a few criteria with why i want to do pharma as well as where i want to do it so i was very sure that i want to do it in maharashtra itself i didn't want to leave the city uh, so i nmat nmat because nmims is in mumbai and uh, cet because it's for maharashtra so these were my two options i focused more on nmat initially uh, but i cleared it uh, but again there were some technical errors that happened in my paper so uh, not trying to waste the whole year i uh, Gave my CET and cleared that and got into SIS. Okay, okay. And uh, uh, so you said that you had also cleared 
NMIMS ka GDP hai as well. Right. There was some last moment technical issue that happened uh, right. because of which you you went for SIES. So uh, if uh, an SIES, uh, you said you applied it via CET. So was it a MMS call or was it a PGDM call? It's uh, I have done my PGDM uh, in pharma. So both of the courses are PGDM itself. So there was not like a typical MMS uh, structure for it that was formed. Okay, and since you said that both you got both both the calls basically NMIMS as well as SIES PGDM. Yeah. So if you can differentiate between the second stage preparation of these two colleges, and if you can compare it with regards to SIES, was there anything different or in particular that they asked you about? Yeah. So uh, with regards to NMIMS, I'll start with that since I had appeared uh, for that a little earlier. So I think uh, they uh, test you on various uh, platforms uh, depending on your uh, pre knowledge of what you're coming with uh, and uh, with sections to see uh, whether you are compatible to the knowledge in the market that is happening currently not only current affairs but also in the particular sector that you're looking out for uh, as well as uh, there'll be a cluster of things that they'll teach you in the first semester so a little of economic background also they'll ask you as well as your behavior or your outlook of how you would want to proceed after your mba or what are you looking at so i think a lot of questions based on this and i think the gd uh, i would say more in nmims i found it competitive uh, but again uh, depends on the topic also i uh, highly agree to this also so uh, it really depends on that and uh, your knowledge towards it uh, i think it depends on the observer also of how he captures what kind of a person you are and what kind of profile do they require or they see a potential in you okay. so that is in terms of nmims again with sies uh, i wouldn't say anything was uh, fairly easier or uh, it would have been much better but i think the process uh, was different in terms of uh, asking uh, questions in the pi uh, gd is as usual uh, what topic you get and uh, the colleagues you get around to sit and discuss it with but again uh, i think uh, the pi was uh, wherein they forefronted much of pharma and a little about current affairs i had less to do with economic forum but they again wanted to know my purpose of why did i shift from research to a marketing or a mba profile or a management profile yeah so i think uh, that's a bit difference that i could say okay. but uh, other than that i think it was uh, both were as competitive as it can get amazing amazing and uh, can you tell us some three insights about sis which only a student would know and from outside you <laughs> not come to know okay uh, i don't know how to put these into so many words but uh, i think uh, i was very new fairly my one masters or my earlier masters uh, had a separate decorum to how i joined and how it was so for me being in a management school these committees and everything are new uh, i know that every college or every management school has this and uh, uh, for us uh, i think in sies uh, the two three good qualities i would picture is the uh, faculty that they provide to us who are really close like uh, uh, they put you uh, on a mentor mentee basis uh, for quite of the first semester so that you are new you come from different places you're from different cities for you not to be lost you have a check in with those uh, mentors uh, through the first few months so that you're not lost you understand that you're going through something it's a big deal and uh, so i think i really appreciate that for starters second a lot of importance was even given to something that's extra curricular uh, something like plays or anything everything was uh, really put up to us that it's not only academics that would work it has to be something extra curricular that you'll have to grab by so i think that was second and third uh, quite grounded i would say uh, you i i have come from an svkm background since uh, prior but i think here i found that uh, people or the uh, environment that uh, these people uh, brought us into was quite grounded and something that you would want to relate to not something that's not approachable or something 
they don't understand because MBA itself is a very pressured course and the market is filled with a lot of MBAs again. So I think uh, that really matters for a student. Great, great. And uh, so you have just completed your MBA and you have started with your uh, job as well. Uh, when yeah. you were in your first year of MBA, where did you intern and, and what was that experience was like? Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, luckily, I got a good opportunity. I was uh, interning in Rosh itself. And uh, so, we come to know that uh, the criteria that the company comes with is that they will give you a pre-placement offer while you are interning. So, uh, you have to strive that much harder. So, I think uh, after the whole process of the interviews through uh, the college uh, that you get placed, it's your duty to prove them. So, I had a three-month uh, internship in Roche Pharma and uh, I was uh, working as a project management partner for uh, a drug that they launched. They were launching at that point of time. It was in the launch phase. And uh, after that, uh, for a brief period, I think a month again, I interned with uh, based off. That was a life project that I did. Uh, basis on terms, again, I had a mentor in my college itself and uh, she really thought I could pull this off. So I think uh, that helped too. So I think the contacts and uh, the whole basis that SIES was one of the first colleges to have Pharma MBA, they really have a lot of students and alumni or alumni in, you know, a lot of different uh, fields and uh, companies right now. So you get a lot of exposure to and fro. So I think these were the two that I interned with through okay. my uh, first year. Amazing. Amazing. And uh, uh, any, any other extracurricular achievements uh, that you want to talk about of yours? <laughs> so I'll... Uh, I'll just emphasize, I am, they, uh, my college was uh, really persistent over the fact that, you know, you'll have to have some certificates that go beyond this. And I am not somebody uh, who is inclined towards a lot of sports or uh, something that's a lot of extracurricular after my uh, bachelor's. Though we had, uh, a, you know, a session or a festival in our master's and bachelor's as well. But that was something we uh, did it interdepartmental. Here, they wanted us to go and explore out and stuff like that. So uh, here, uh, uh, I think we had an experiential project, which I had to manage with a number of other colleagues. Uh, we had teams made up. We had to plan different games for them. And uh, we were supposed to organize it. So we were a bunch of like eight to 10 kids who organized it and uh, made it happen in uh, a place in Karchat and we executed the whole start to end with the help of a mentor. So I think uh, it really does boost you. A lot of small things that make happen and keep you to the leadership part where you can inculcate those uh, skills or just, you know, help yourself uh, understand what you are capable of. Okay. So I think okay. quite a learning. True, true. And uh, who should target uh, SIES? That you know, Sorry? Which, which kind of students should target SIES? Uh, I think those who are, uh, those who understand that uh, there are, of course, there is PGDM, there is MMS, uh, there is PGDM in general, MBA, there is PGDM in Pharma. So there is, uh, you know, a lot of sectors, again, you want to get into. So, that depends on the person. But if I have to speak of pharma, again, uh, I think the uh, he or she should understand that they want to uh, go into a particular pharmaceutical organization and the work starts from scratch. So uh, they will help you more, but it cannot be possible that they will spoon feed you. So I think uh, that's a basic rule for masters, but I think with pharma as well, uh, it has okay. to be inculcated. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, so, Saisha, before we wind this up, any any pro tips for students to, uh, you know, uh, uh, do well in the management entrances who are preparing for this year's management entrances? Uh, so Since you've already few... gone through the process. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I, I think I'll just give a few snippets or uh, something that I missed on. Uh, work something uh, upon which you are not good at. 
uh, for me it was quants i think work harder work double make your own set of notes uh, regarding your tips and tricks of what you can understand in the future whatever is given in the book is not going to be ideal it has to be you making up stuff for yourself and uh, it counts it does count i still remember a few tips and tricks that i had made up for myself and i think they really go a long way uh, try to hone up a lot of other skills that are not pertinent to your sector only uh, which is could be ms office or anything but i think uh, since it's a digital world now and uh, there's a lot of spare time with covid we have i think uh, it should be something that they should have a few feathers on their cap so i think these would be enough and i think confidence should be there know mm-hmm. about the world yeah <laughs> amazing amazing so saisha thank you so much for your time and all the very thank best you. for all your future endeavors hopefully we thank can thank you thank you so much more sessions definitely like hope you all do good too amazing amazing have fun Thanks for your Have time. Have fun you too. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Good day. Bye bye.